We are learning the Vatican Secretary of State approved the controversial purchase of a real estate property in London. In a March 2019 letter, which was recently leaked to an Italian newspaper, Cardinal Pietro Perilin wrote to the president of the Vatican Bank asking for a loan to pay off a mortgage on the property. This comes while Pope Francis is in the process of cleaning up the Holy See's finances. Joining us now with more information is EWTN News Rome correspondent Colin Flynn. Colin, good to see you. So tell us what was written in that letter. Good evening, Tracy. Well, this letter reveals that Cardinal Pietro Parolin, the Secretary of State of the Vatican, he was aware and approved of the highly controversial purchase of a luxury real estate property in London, which is now at the centre of a Vatican investigation. Now, the exact figure is unknown, but it is believed that this property investment cost the Vatican hundreds of millions of euros. In the leaked letter, which is marked confidential and urgent the, and addressed to Jean-Baptiste de Fransou at the Institute of Religious Works, otherwise known as the Vatican Bank, Cardinal Parolin asked for a loan of 150 million euros. That's approximately 182 million dollars. Now, the money, he said, was needed to pay off the loan, which had been taken out to buy shares of the real estate in London. And Cardinal Parolin in the letter describes the investment as a valid one and that this foreign investment required confidentiality. And so they needed to acquire additional liquidity to safeguard the investment. He also stated that the Secretariat of State required the money to prevent it from dipping into its own reserves. Now, at the end of the letter, Cardinal Parolin offered his gratitude to the Vatican Bank if it approved the request. Colm, do we know, was the money released by the Vatican Bank? Well, Tracy, the Vatican Bank immediately moved to fulfill the request and informed the Supervisory and Financial Information Authority. They approved the loan as the Vatican Bank had enough money to cover it, but it was ultimately blocked by Gianfranco Mami, the Director General of the Vatican Bank, who went on to file a complaint to the Vatican's promoter of justice. Now, Tracy, it's important to note that there is no indication that Cardinal Parolin is accused of any wrongdoing in this at this current time. And, Colin, before I let you go, where do things stand with the Secretary of State? Well, Tracy, Cardinal Angelo Becciu was working directly under Cardinal Parolin at the Secretary of State, and he was largely blamed for this debacled London property deal. He was dismissed by Pope Francis, and he's been contesting his innocence ever since. But this is the first time that Cardinal Parolin, who is the second in command of the Vatican, has had his name officially linked with the deal. And, of course, on December the 28th, the Pope did make the surprise announcement that he was stripping the Secretary of State of all its financial assets and real estate assets and moving them to another office. Now, the London property at the centre of all of this, it's owned by an Italian investor. He went on to make a substantial profit from the deal, while, of course, the Vatican lost millions. The investigation continues. Tracy. Okay, thank you so much, Colm. Colm Flynn, EWTN News Rome correspondent. Thank you, Tracy.